Hey there, what's up? This is Carvel Bailey and uh, just finished in the gym. Another, another great day, another great day. So um, I want to welcome you to this short video, short video training tutorial, whatever you want to call it. If you are just now uh, getting an opportunity to meet me, again, my name is Carvel Bailey and what I do is I help parents save money on college by helping their unrecruited or under-recruited student athlete get a college scholarship. So today, uh, you see the stripes, just got done, full gym. So I got I got my actual phone, right, with notes in it, um, cause it was so much today, so much today, and I may even go live at some point later or tomorrow, but I got a couple key points for you guys. First of all, um, guards, athletes, basketball players, whoever you may be, please don't try to dribble through a press. Don't try to dribble through a press. Pass the ball, pass the ball, pass the ball. And I used to do a, a drill with my players, the ones that wanted to dribble through a press. I would line them up, some of you may have seen this old drill. I would line them up on the baseline and they would have to race the ball. And I say go, I let them get to about half court and I throw the ball to the other end, ball generally wins. Sometimes, even when I really wanted to prove a point, I would roll the ball. The ball always wins, so the ball moves faster than your feet. So don't try to just dribble through a press. Don't try to dribble through a press. Now, if you have to dribble to get away from a press, all right, you want to go east and west or like northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. You want to run. You don't want to necessarily go just backwards. I know a lot of coaches teach you just backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Well, if the, def if the defense can just come at a in a straight line and get you, then they're, they're, it's, it's easier for them to get you. But if the defense has to move their body and like chase you, have you ever like um, been running from somebody and you know, you zigzagging, it's harder for them to chase you and they actually get tired quicker. So a quick hack, um, even though you're pulling it out, pull it out on an angle and make them, you know, be able to chase you. But uh, pass the ball through a trap. Um, the second thing is, is, is be accountable, be accountable. Be able to be accountable for yourself and be someone that your team can count on. So be accountable to yourself as well as to others. Be somebody that your team can count on. All right, can they count on you? And what can they count on you for? Here's where you need to figure out what can they count on you for? Can they count on you for rebounds? Can they count on you for points? Can they count on you for free throws when the game is tight? Can they count on you if you don't play a lot? Can they count on you to, to be the positive energy on the bench? Everybody has a role on the team, and so you want to be accountable. All right, the third thing. So we got don't dribble through a press. We got be accountable. The third thing is this. Don't hurt us. Now, every player may not be able to come in the game and help. So I was reffing the game earlier today, and two guys showed up late. The game was already going. They showed up late, um, you know, club basketball. That's how it happens sometimes. Hey, sometimes in high school, it happens. Players show up late. Um, but they showed up late. Uh, the coach, you know, once they got in, the coach didn't put them in for about two or three minutes. But immediately, as soon as they came in, one guy, um, as soon as he came in, shot a, shot a great shot. Um, and the other guy immediately grabbed the offensive rebound. And then on the other end, the guy that took that first shot as soon as he came in um, and missed, but on the defensive end, he got a rebound. So those two individuals, um, one got an offensive rebound, and the other one took a great shot and got a defensive rebound. So my point is, while everybody won't be able to help their team, you don't want to hurt your team. So you don't want to get in the game and then have a turnover or get in the game and have a foul. Each minute that you're on the court, you want to have more positive minutes than negative minutes. So therefore, at the end of the game, your stat sheet may not show certain points, certain skills, certain assists, but what are the intangibles? Did you not hurt us? See, it's a difference in helping us and not hurting us. Most coaches don't want players to hurt them. And if you don't hurt your team, you'll probably play more. If you don't hurt your team, you'll probably play more and more people will notice you. The last thing, the last and final thing um, is this, and I and I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. I've had so many players 
that's played for me, and they think I'm crazy because I've taken players out the game for not doing this, and no other coach has really had them do this. But be ready to shoot the ball, please. Okay, you please athletes, basketball players, be ready to shoot the ball. You're playing because you want to shoot the ball. Like most athletes want to shoot the basketball. So when the ball comes to you, when the ball comes your way, you have to be in ready position. Have a good one. You have to be in ready position and ready to shoot the basketball. So many players nowadays, they get the ball and they're not ready to shoot. First of all, let me go back. You always want to be in shot range. You always want to be in a shot range. Too many players catch the ball outside of shot range. That's what, why they're not ready to shoot. So they pick up that habit because they, they, they aren't in shot range, so they aren't ready to shoot. So when they get into shot range, they still aren't ready to shoot. So athletes, please, please, please be ready to shoot. Please be ready to shoot. All right? And now, I always give you guys a bonus. I always give you a bonus. I always try to give you a bonus. I always try to over-deliver. Under-promise over deliver so here we go here it is here's the bonus if you really if you really if you really want to gain an advantage on the competition if you really want to gain an advantage on the competition just take away this strong hand most athletes heck sometimes even on a pro level it shouldn't be but sometimes you see it even on a pro level most athletes can't use their off hand they can't use their weak hand so if you take away the right hand, if you take away the left hand of the defender that you're guarding, right? If they're right-handed, sit on their right hand. Take their right hand away. If they're left-handed, sit on their left hand. Take their left hand away. And you will be surprised. You'll be surprised how simple. I'm not going to say easy. You'll be surprised how much simpler that will make defense for you because most individuals in youth basketball, high school basketball, can't use both of their hands. It's kind of sad, but it's the ultimate truth. So for those players that can use both hands, um, you have a much better advantage. But if you really, 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 really want to gain an advantage and possibly expose whoever you're playing, um, take their power hand away. Take their power hand away and let's see if they know how to um, really, really play basketball. All right. So I hope this helps you guys. I don't know if I wanted to call this some reflections from a referee or just playing out um, just basketball tutorial one on one, whatever you may want to call it. So those five key points, I hope that helps you guys. All right. Um, don't try to dribble through a press. That's one. Two. Um, what did I say? Two, be accountable. Be accountable to your team as well as yourself, right? What are your team? What is your team counting on you for? Number three, don't hurt us. You may not be able to help us, but don't hurt us. Um, four, be ready to shoot. And then five, lay on a weak hand. Lay on a off hand. Um, <laughs> and defense, it gets so easy to you. It gets so easy to you if you just take away their strength. All right. Listen, if you would like more training like this, if you would like more training like this, go check out my free case study video at b2bsdhoopsmastery.com. In that uh, free case study video, I, I go over uh, a lot of the myths um, that most parents have been told, most athletes believe um, that they need to do and need to follow in order to get a scholarship. So if you want that training, um, free training by free 30 minute training for you and your athlete, go to b2bsdhoopsmastery.com um, and check out the free video. Now, if you would like for my help, if you would like for my help with your athlete in doing any of these things, helping them uh, accomplish and master um, these things and hit their goals, um, just reach out to me, reach out to me and we can schedule an appointment and we can get you going. All right, listen, 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 listen. All right, remember the, that old saying we said, listen, Linda, listen, but listen. Every day you should be improving your basketball knowledge. Every day you should be improving your basketball knowledge. So you can go to my YouTube 
uh, page at Coach Carvel Bailey and subscribe. Um, if you're watching this, say on social media, hit the notification bell so that you see it when it first pop up. Whenever I make videos, make videos like this every day, every day, because my mission and my goal is to help educate and empower one million um, student athletes and help them understand the game of basketball and life a little bit better, as well as we are going to help families save a million dollars in college tuition over the next two years. So again, if you'd like my help, just feel free to reach out. All right, I hope you guys uh, liked and understood these five points and I'm gonna go live at some point in time. Um, so just be on the lookout. Um, if you want to just subscribe to uh, my email, just shoot me an email uh, or shoot me an inbox um, and I can add you to our list where you get our daily emails um, with more videos like this and more things to be able to help you. All right, Carville Bailey, I'm out. Talk to you guys later. Peace.